Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're going to take a load of carrots. 38,906 pounds. 522 miles from Santa Maria, California to Eureka, California. So let's get this underway. Looks like a beautiful, lovely, rainy day. Time to hit the road. Nice, so I'm going to have to swing wide with this trailer. I'm going to be trying to get uh, wherever I can get after this load. To get, so we can get the Cascadia. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing all right. Still kicking. I guess that's progress. Um, we'll be taking the scenic route. Turn left. Today, up the uh, 101 to the one. And uh, keep right, and then turn right. Doing that that run. Get to uh, see a little bit because I got to stop and turn right. Oh, well, I got to go turn that back on. Got to do that because I turned it off and forgot to return it back on. So we're going to turn the fatigue back on. Hopefully, I'll be able to make it in time. Curb. Curb check. Got that.
exit right. Turn left. I 
I can change the recording stats to like an MP4 or something just so it gets up quicker. I mean, high definition is 1080p. That's what's going to come across to you. Find a new route.
turbocharger gauge doesn't work, so that actually helps. Dynamite, you have to run this road. Uh, it's just gotten better. And like I said, the motherboard that I'm looking at is the Crosshair Hero 8. Hey, Zeus, like their motherboards. And their BIOS is so easy to mess with. Um, but I'm looking at the 3800X or XT, one of the two. Now, I'm not going to be overclocking it. I'm not going to be overclocking the memory on it. I'll keep the, the graphics card overclocked. But uh, I'm finding that having my stuff overclocked to 4 gigahertz, which means when I start a game, my stuff is running at 4 gigs through the entire gaming you know like if I, I keep track of it when uh, I'm playing my game it's at 4 gigahertz the whole way it, never, it doesn't stop until I get out of the game but I think that's actually hurting me because this is supposed to be 3.7 gigs with a, with a 4.3 boost, and I'm not getting the boost. Um, I don't know what's happening. That I can't even back it down off the off the four gigs. So this this motherboard might be toast. Cause I've I, I think when I updated the BIOS, I was already overclocked at 4 gigs, and that's what it's going to register at. So, you know, that's where I'm at there. But I won't be, I won't be, well, I shouldn't say that. But the 3800 XT is a pretty stout little unit. And I'll be getting new memory. Uh, of course, I'll also be getting the uh, NVMe M.2 drives. Um, I'd like to have two 2 terabytes, but I don't know if I can afford that because that's like almost $500 just for that and the processor is right around $450 or it was um, you know and then I'm going to have to use the same graphics card um, I'm gonna have to use the same graphics card I've got because I just, you know, $1,300 I'm not doing. I can't afford it, you know. And I was looking at some, you know, 3070s, not even the 3080, 3090, but liquid cooled Asus uh, cards that are liquid cooled. I become rich and famous that won't be happening and right now it seems like 
I can find water blocks for almost every card except the 1600, the 1660. And I'm pushing my 1660 right now at 2070 speed, so <clears throat> that extra has helped. But I'd like to get it. <clears throat> I'd like, excuse me, I'd like to get a water cool graphics card. And like I said, I'm getting away from the um, idea of the water cooled motherboard. I, you know, if I need to, you know, feel the need to cool the BRMs and everything else, then. Keep right, and then turn right. Uh, I can buy a water block. I mean, it's... Turn right. No big deal. Uh, to do it that way then. I mean, there were some there were some cool things about the the one I was looking at, the uh, Maximus. You know, I had the little window in, inside that tells you what your CPU temp is, and the water cooling going in and out of the board. And Keep left, and then turn left. All that good stuff, but and the turn double. Left. The double 3.0, um, you know, was the only board, but then I got to thinking, I said, well, this is a dual system tower. You can take an ITX board and everything and put it in there, and then you throw the three point, the other 3.0 on top, into that, and you, you got four of the, the front port 3.0s at work, but if I put it all on one board, okay. Am I going to run a dual system? Uh, I'd eventually like to get there. Because uh, then I can ride the, run the, yeah, ride. Run the uh, second system, the ITX side uh, stream. know because it'll have its own uh, probably MBME drive and the only thing it'll have on it is stuff I need to stream the game and uh, the games I'll, I'll play and, and record and everything will be off the big system with the, the What the? It's like this thing is just not. It's. I'm definitely gonna have to get a new shifter. The box first. The button box first. Absolutely. I'm also looking at because I can't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford. Uh, Shifter, the button box, and the knob. Um, as I'm looking at one from eBay and stuff that's like 135, but it's got a metal uh, range selector in the front, and it's got the normal front and rear splitter on the side 
doesn't have a jake brake, but and I do like having that easy jake on the shift drive I've got now, which is almost it's the AccuSim I think shifter, and it's got the the jig right up there by the thumb, and it's that that's man I've got so used to that. like to buy Southern Trucker Southern Trucker Gaming's shifter, no doubt, hands down, two hundred dollars, I think. And that's with the uh, top I want. TH8A and the G27 respectively so that it, okay if it takes me a little bit longer to get the TH8A will it fit on my G27 for now you know and then once I get the TH8A will it fit on that or am I going to have to go back to him to buy the adapter the mic for the the box the button box because well I don't ever I don't I will be getting on discord and stuff like that but <clears throat> I've got my headset with the microphone I don't need to uh, you know a mic to use it like a CV there are some people doing that, some that aren't, so. Not something I need to worry about. I'd be surprised if I make this in time because of the, I ain't been able to run 55 around a lot of this stuff.
bomb here. stuff that stuff just if you wait keep right and then turn right turn right if you wait and don't get out there you'll be waiting there for a very long time normally So we've only got about 260 some odd miles to go, and like I said, the, the worst of it's coming. We haven't hit the worst yet. No, we're getting into it. straight on. Had to use a clutch up these hills. Because these are so quick that you can't get up and down quick enough. Okay, well, we're going to have to do a little 
snakey feet around here. Reroute. Go straight on. Don't know what happened there with the road. Jump over a little bit. Keep left and then turn left. And that's an SCS map, so I don't know. Turn left. First time I've ever come through that part of the city, though, where I've had problems. Go with straight on. Sinking into the. Uh... See now I'm gonna have to get over. Sinking into the road like that—that that, that was odd.
but uh, I'll add it back to my other one. Like I said, I'm not too worried about, there are, I guess, some of the achievements you can't get with running that rework package, and I'm not worried about it anymore, not with the... I got the one I wanted, which was the potatoes. Some of them I'm never going to get, get, because... For one, I have no interest in hauling the product, like the frack. And some of them are like, haul every... Uh, special transport on the map. All the maps. And yeah, I'm not going to see that one either. Five consecutive super longs, which is probably never going to happen. Now, I am working one, and, and this is why I may wait, is because I'm working in the Snake River right now, and I think I've got like two of them done. And, uh, they're two of four or something like that. top the top I've got it's the shifter just not reading eighth gear Ooh. go straight on ah why do these people gotta stop traffic big time which is fine 
but I'm never going to get a break. I mean, on the interstates, it would be perfect, but, uh, you know, Jeff and you know, a couple of the other ones full tilt, they're like, yeah, let's do ramp down. I mean, Jeff's running like, when he was doing the 1.4, 1. 1. 4, oh, stuff, he had that traffic jacked to like 4 and 5. Then he can't figure out why he, he, he can't get out. Why he's got to do the video and then edit it out because you know, where he done went. You know, yeah, some of that traffic is stupid. I mean, I'm on two right now and you look at all the traffic around me. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, on a Saturday. That's understandable. Maps because. 
because it's not compatible with any other map and I run Sierra Nevada and I like Sierra Nevada I like coast to coast too because then I can it's, I'm not just confined uh, with that and this this profile has do believe this profile has pro mods in it so you know we're not running all of uh, Canada either but I, I do like the way they did the Canada entry points with this one with the pro mods and how you got to stop and have to check your papers and all that good stuff and That's cool. You know, you just don't cross the border and get hit with a toll like can a dream. But there's just not enough there for me to do it on my other profile because I like. I think I went back to pro my other one. I might not have. Um, I like to be able to go all over and that's why I have you know the Canada Dream on the other profile and Mexico and C2C in the Midwest which adds a lot to the, the central country which a lot of people were complaining about because of not having nothing out in the middle well now they got a lot out in the middle if they download that mod the uh, Midwest mod I think what I'm going to do is take that road. Drive safe. Because then it's another road on un uh, discovered, uncovered, discovered, whatever you want to call it.
So I'm not too worried about the achievements. the other profile. I can get him on this one. So I'll just load the other one. The reworked on the other one. Other profile and then I, I got placards for the hazardous stuff too so that uh, a mod that I gotta load in. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Also have that trailer. Tran Transport America. <sighs> Don't have the trucks, but that's uh, that's what I think. My outside my map mods. I think that's the biggest mod that I have. They're the biggest amount of mods that I have. It's trailers. Ready to turn left. Turn left. Ready to turn right. Turn right. Finally, we are here. Oh, goody. Stuck on. Stuck on anything. Yeah, see, I go right there and park, take my break, or the driver break. Blind backing means I'll be outside the cabin. I just can't see out these mirrors for nothing. Oh, nice craft Heinz trailer. And yeah, when MHA Maps did that, he put things in there so tight that you couldn't.
being able to bump the dock. All right, we got an excellent rating. 526 miles, 26 hours, 21 minutes to deliver 99.1 gallons of fuel consumed for this load. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Until next time, bye.